There's a first Gay Pride March and then there's a second first Gay Pride March. But the first one was in 1981. Uh, it was only one hour day out and uh, it was precipitated by the murder of Ron Antonovich who was killed because he was perceived to be gay when several other people with him were sunbathing out on Little River and were beaten by a little mob of white guys. Well, I think it was kind of a natural segue to go from lamenting a murder to celebration of our lives. You know, I think part of the response, in addition to the court, was the march. We started out with a much um, less ambitious poster. It was just a little handbill like this. Um, but it's got some poetry to it. Our day out is coming. There's going to be a parade, dancing, singing, talking, listening, a picnic, an art show, celebration. Our day out, June 27, keep it open. And then when we realized that it was becoming something bigger than we uh, had expected, then we, uh, uh, we went with a bigger poster. I'm not sure it would have happened in terms of the politicization of homophobic violence against men um, if Carl and Alan hadn't been here, actually. They were coming from San Francisco, coming from Oregon, uh, and so it was a kind of convergence or fusion, I think, of that West Coast organizing and the stuff that was starting in the South. One aspect of the early marches that is long lost now was dancing. Uh, there, there would always be uh, uh, a time in the rally after the marching around for us to do our English country dancing and folk dancing. A, a difference earlier on, um, I think between Durham and, and maybe uh, other towns in, in the state, um, is the diversity of uh, participation. Uh, the early marches, I, I can remember scenes on Ninth Street where baby strollers and old folks and, uh, um, and the march is really mostly the folks who've come to watch, but then they end up marching. There weren't floats, there were you know, maybe a few old cars, but it was a, it was a pretty funky, uh, seen, but uh, but eloquent and 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 very participatory. I mean, the Little River murder um, that happened in 1981 had a galvanizing impact on the queer community in Durham, especially I think the gay men's community because it was gay men who were attacked while they were naked sunbathing out on the river, um, and it galvanized a level of political activism I think in terms of interacting with the sheriff's department, with the court system, with the justice system to lament this level of violence, homophobic violence, in the state and in the community and demand justice for it.